Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Okay, people, let's get started. Let me take the attendance, okay? Please turn on your cameras and respond when you hear your name. Ana Maria Siguenza Fuentes. Presente. Brian Alberto Rodriguez Maravilla. Presente. Celia Edith Privado Sánchez. Presente. Cristian Alexander Zelaya. Presente. Cindy Alicia Hernández Cornejo. Presente. Daniel David Contreras Vanegas. Presente. Diana Verónica Morales Pineda. Elías Salvador Amaya Paredes. Presente. ¿Eh? Emily Tatiana Asturias Álvarez. Presente. Francesca Raquel Franconi Maravilla. Presente. Gabriel Isaí Cárcamo Sánchez. Presente. Eisel Giselle Hernández Medrano. Presente. Henry Isaías Hernández Cervellón. Presente. Liliana Elizabeth Gómez Gómez. Jacqueline Elizabeth Orellana Echeverría. Presente. Yasmín Elizabeth Echeverría García. Presente, maestro. Okay. Jimena Patricia Ramos Martini. Presente. Lourdes Marisela Ayala Campos. Presente. Mauricio Alexander Acevedo Velázquez. Presente. Okay. Milton Josué Estupinian Pleites. Milton Josué Estupinian Pleites. Perdón, presente. Raquel Abigail Meléndez Vera. Presente. Reina Arelí Alas López. Presente. 
René Amilcar Alizar Sánchez Barriera. Presente. Rigoberto Antonio Lara Molina. Presente. Sonia Michelle Ardón Cardosa. <coughs> Valeria Alicia Ramos Martínez. Presente. Suseli Daniela Escobar Enríquez. Presente. Ok. Diana Verónica Morales, Ileana Elizabeth, Sonia Michelle. Yeah. Ok. No dijo mi nombre, Ileana, ¿verdad? Liliana Elizabeth Gómez. Sí. Ok, bueno. Bueno, por acá crisis también con la tarea, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, ¿Quiénes no han terminado la sección 1 con las tareas? ¿Really? ¿No? ¿La sección 2? Eh, la, sección, la sección 2 yo no la he ter terminado. Hoy complementé la sección 1, este, ya que... Ah, me había atrasado. Ay, creo que eh, me parece, no estoy seguro, pero eso no lo manejamos. Parece que se les dice que pueden ir avanzando, ¿verdad? En las tareas, independientemente de las clases que, que hayamos visto. Yo sé que a veces algunos temas pueden ser difíciles, algunos sí, no los podrán resolver. Ah, porque pues sí, la academia tiene una, una calendarización de tareas que no siempre va de acuerdo con la programación de clases que uno lleva. No podemos. Difícilmente en la primera semana vamos a avanzar hasta la sección 2. En las clases. Eh, igual más adelante pues, al día, pero es importante para la academia que las tareas se vayan haciendo ¿por qué? porque es la única manera de evaluarles y de presentar una nota a Interpol esa es la razón por la cual se le está recordando constantemente que está un calendario eh, así es que Vamos a, a revisar rápidamente las tareas. ¿Verdad? Eh, probablemente traten de tomar apuntes de la respuesta. Ahí rapidito, pero si se quedan con algo, yo eh, a eso de las diez y media ya he subido este video a YouTube. Para que puedan ahí volver a repasar y a revisar las respuestas. Vamos a poder darle la respuesta de la sección de hoy. Hago esto porque nos está presionando ahí con las tareas de la sección. La otra semana ya se la sección. Eh, profe, no sé si seré solo yo, pero casi no se le escucha. No, yo creo que no se le escucha bien porque no igual a mí me escucha. Habla. Ya es sí, igual escucha. no se escucha. Sí, es correcto. Hay, hay problemas de. Se corta su, 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 su voz. Bueno. ¿Será la señal? No sé qué será. 
Vamos a... Sí, ya se le escucha un poco más claro. Anteriormente sí, sí. no. Sí, ahorita sí. Bueno, ahora. Bien. Sí, sí, ahí estamos sí, bien ya. Sí, ya. Sí. Ok, veamos entonces rápidamente las tareas de la sección 1. O sea, hago esto solo por la presión que les han puesto de las de la de las tareas ¿no? ahora ustedes cada quien debe ser consciente de su aprendizaje ¿no? y tratar de de practicar estas cosas ok Ejercicio 1. Aquí están las respuestas, ¿verdad? My. Acá se, se, se escribe todas las posibles maneras en que alguien lo pueda poner para que cualquiera forma se lo acepte. Number 2. Hair. Number 3. Is. Okay. Siguiente tarea. Spelling names. Number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Pero terminen ahora, por favor, si pueden. O mañana primera hora. Ok. Siguiente tarea. Punto 10. I am. Number 2 is. Number 3 is. Number 4 are. Number 5 I am. Number 6 it's. Or it is. Miren con, bueno, que acá incluso les están poniendo eso, pero tengan cuidado con el apóstrofe en estas. Si ponen contracciones, tengan cuidado con el apóstrofe, porque a veces ponen la tilde y no el apóstrofe. Entonces, ya que les aceptan la respuesta con la forma completa, no contractada, Mejor pongan así para no tener problema con el apóstrofe. A menos que sepan bien cuál es el apóstrofe en su dispositivo. Ok. Repito. I am. Is. Is. Are. My name. O I am. Cualquiera. It is. Siguiente tarea. Estos son números de teléfono acá. Mejor lo ven después. Se pueden tomar captura de pantalla, se lo tomen, ¿no? los primeros tres los segundos tres vamos a la sección dos
solo hoy voy a hacer esto para la sección 2 o la sección 3, pero la otra semana no. Uno es el ejemplo. Dos, it's a CD player. Tres, are these, are these. Four, it's a watch, it's a watch. Five, this, it is. Or oh, is this six their sunglasses? Their sunglasses. Next. One is, two are, three were, <coughs> four it's not. Next. Son frases, tomen captura de pantalla mejor. One, two, three. Pero van a poner una, ¿verdad? Aquí se les dan tres posibles formas en cada caso. Solo escojan una. Four, five, six. Y el último. One. In the purse. Two. In front of television. Three. On the chair. Four under the table. Okay. One in the purse. Two in front of television. Three on the chair. Four under the table. Ok. Si en algo no tomaron nota, repito, 9 y 10.30 está el video ya subido en YouTube. So, let's get started with tonight's class. Sí, ya. Title. Ok, saying hello, saying hello. Diferentes maneras de decir hello. Ok. 
हैं I'm going to record the conversation. Le voy a grabar las conversaciones aquí en WhatsApp. Saying hello. Conversation one. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Great. How about you, Lisa? Conversation two. Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Conversation three. Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Not bad, thanks. How are you? Conversation four. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Okay, one more time. Listen, please. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Great. How about you, Lisa? Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Not bad, thanks. How are you? Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Hi, Matthew, how are you? Hi, Matthew, Hi, Matthew. how are you? Great, how, are you? How, are you? Great. how about you, Lisa? Great, Great. Great. How, about how about you, you Lisa? Lisa? Good morning, Mr. Garcia, how are you? Who are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Good afternoon, Brad. How are you? Not bad. Thanks. How are you? Not bad. How are you? Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Good evening, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? Hello, Miss Hello, Chen. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. okay. Very good. Now, um... Okay, look at the different forms to say hello. Tenemos hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and hello. Okay. So son diferentes maneras de decir hola, no? Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello. Good morning. Es en la mañana, vea. Señor está con su pata todavía. Good afternoon is en la tarde. Alrededor de la una de la tarde. Good evening. Ya es al entrar la noche. Es de noche. Casi van a ser las seis acá. Y hello. Una forma más informal. ¿Ok? Uh, también quiero que noten esta frase. How are you? How are you? How about you, Lisa? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay. 
Cerremos micrófonos, por favor. Gracias. Ahora, diferentes maneras de responder a esta pregunta. How are you? Ok, tenemos. Uh, different color. Yellow. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm just fine. Thank you. How are you? Not bad. Thanks. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Vemos entonces la pregunta y las diferentes maneras de responder. Great. Great. Excellent. I'm just fine. Okay. Muy bien. Not bad. Nada mal. I'm okay. Estoy bien. Okay? Very good. Any question with these conversations? Maestro, como dijo, ¿qué significa, ¿qué significa not bad? Nada mal. O no estoy mal. Es sí, gracias. De... Okay. Any other question? Okay. Let's continue then. We have a, a conversation here. Let me read it for you. Igual se lo voy a grabar acá también. Conversation. He's over there. Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephen, this is your book. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. You're in my class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. Hey, David, this is Jennifer. She's in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Okay. Conversation. One more time. Listen. Excuse me. Are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. It's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Steven, this is your book. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. You're in my class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. Hey, David, this is Jennifer. She's in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Okay? Very good. Let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? I'm not. He's over there. No, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Steven, this is your book. Steven, this is your book. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. It's my, it's my math book. Yeah. You're in my class, right? You are in my, in my class. class. Right. Right. Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. Yes, yes I, am. I am. Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. It's nice, it's nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Hey, David, this is Jennifer. Hi, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. She's in our math class. She's, She's in our math class. class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. 
Okay, very good. Now, uh, les voy a enviar a trabajar en tríos. Vieron, es una conversación entre Jennifer, Steven, and David. Three people, okay? Entonces, en grupo de tres, I want you to practice that conversation, okay? Espero todos puedan ingresar. Ingresen a los grupos y ya voy a colocar la conversación en WhatsApp. Okay, join the breakout rooms, please. René en Milton. Nos esperan en sus grupos.
Okay, people, welcome back. Now, in this conversation, we use a lot the verb be. Okay, so we are going to study the verb be, okay? Let me show you a video we have here in the platform about the verb to be. Okay, give me a second. Here it is. Okay, watch the video, please. Take note, pay attention, and practice. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to M for the pronouns you we and they, you're going to use are. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right, right hand side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember, uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. We're going to say uh, Mario, that's his name. Um, he, then we're going to say he is um, a mechanic. He is. at work. 
uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they uh, and they are my co-workers now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart are you Stephen Carson that's a question the way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am or no I'm not uh, then there's one last question there how are you we're gonna focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be as I explained previously um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be where we use the subject the verb to be and the complement um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do we're gonna follow something very similar with the exception that we're gonna form questions so I'm gonna copy this formula that I show you and I'm gonna paste it here because I want you to see the relation between the two what we're gonna do essentially is we're gonna move this verb to be before the pronoun okay so we're gonna move this verb to be before the pronoun and that's how you form questions um, so look at the example are you Stephen Carson we move the verb to be before the pronoun you okay so our formula needs to change uh, now instead of uh, the subject at the beginning we're gonna say that that's the verb to be at the beginning and then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun okay and then it's going to follow some kind of complement so we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order and that's basically how we form questions um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom um, and as I mentioned what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there so let's look at that this one changes here and there we go so the first question is am I Joe now obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals am I Joe okay um, and the next one I am an English teacher what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say am I an English teacher all right and then we put a question mark at the end so how would we form the next one um, he is Mario okay if I want to ask the question I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning and I'm going to say is he Mario okay is he uh, mechanic is is he at work are they my co-workers now what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. Okay. So here we have the different forms of verb B. Yeah. I'm your she's it's it's 
I'm is the contraction for I am. Yeah. Your is the contraction for you are. His is the contraction for he is. She's is the contraction for she is. And it's is the contraction for it is. Okay. Now, how do we form questions? Well, la pregunta se forma solo e cambiando el orden, okay? Por ejemplo, I'm Jennifer Miller. Yo quiero convertir esto en pregunta sería Am I Jennifer Miller? You're in my class. Are you in my class? No. Okay. It's my math book. Is it my math book? Well, esa es la manera de formar preguntas. Este tipo de preguntas. Hay otras, pero por hoy vamos a ver estas. Ok. Any question, people? No. Ok. Let's see here. Vamos a completar esta conversation, ¿ok? Ahí tienen en paréntesis las dos opciones. Una es la correcta. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Are you? I'm fine. Thanks. ¿Y acá? ¿Qué sería? I'm or it's. I'm. I am. I am. I am. Oh, I, I'm. I'm sorry. What's your name again? <laughs> Yaka? His it's. or it? It, 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 it is. is. It. Okay. It's David. David Medina. That's right. David, this. Is or am? Is. 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 Sarah is Connor. Sarah Connor. Okay. She's she or his? She's. Is. She's. She's. Okay. Porque she's. estamos hablando de Sarah. She's in our math class. Hi, Sarah. I am or it's nice to it's. meet you. It's. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, David. I think you're you're you're, you're. you're. yes you're in my English class too. I am. All right. Yes, I I am. Yes. I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Very good. Let me read this conversation. Hello, I'm, I'm sorry. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm sorry. What's your name again? It's David, David Medina. That's right, David. This is uh, Sarah Connor. She's in our math class. Hi, Sarah. 
It's nice to meet you. Hi, David. I think you're in my English class too. All right. Yes, I am. Okay. Let's practice. Repeat, please. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Hello Jennifer. Jennifer. How, are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm, I'm fine. fine. Thanks. 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 I'm sorry. What's your name again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's your name again? again? It's David. David Medina. It's David. David Medina. That's right, David. This is Tara Connor. That's, That's right, right. David. David. This is Tara Connor. She's in our math class. She's, she's in our math, math class. class. Hi, Sara. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Hi Sara. It's Hi. nice to meet you. Hi, David. I think you're in my English class too. Hi, Hi David. 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 I think you're in my English class too. All right. Yes, I am. Oh, oh, right. Right. Yes, I am. Okay. Very good, people. Vamos a quedarnos acá. Eh, completen las tareas, por favor. Sección 1 y 2. Repito, dentro de una media hora ya está subido este video en YouTube. Si quieren volver a ver ahí las respuestas. Ok. Ok. Y... Nos vemos el lunes. Okay. Right? See you on Monday, people. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you. Bye. Thank you, teacher.